Hi, I'm Ozzy Hall. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This video looks at Behringer's 4Play Quad VCA module. The 4Play is based on the Cool Audio 2164 Quad VCA chip. It shares many of the same features as the Mutable Instruments Veils Quad VCA module, which is open source. The Mutable Instruments manual describes the module as follows. Veils provides four VCAs with an adjustable response curve and an offset control. Their outputs are daisy chained, allowing the adjacent groups of two, three, or all four channels to be mixed together. See the description for links to the foreplay and Veils manuals. Let's take a quick look at the audio inputs and outputs, as well as the level controls, including the CV inputs, switches, and knobs. You have your audio in, down here, all four of them, your audio out. You have four CV inputs, and you have an attenuator that will attenuate the signal coming through the CV input. You have a level control, which is a manual level of the VCA gain. You also have a switch that will boost the gain of the VCA by plus 6 dB. Finally, the response of the VCA is shaped by the curve knob. This curve knob can vary the VCA response from exponential in the fully counterclockwise position to linear in the fully clockwise position. Let's explore the controls by demonstrating them. First, we're going to use the first VCA as nothing but an attenuator. We'll take the sawtooth output, put it into the audio input, take the audio output, and put it through this VCA going into the mixer. And we're just using this as an attenuator for this signal. As we turn up the level control, you can hear the signal coming in. So that's the first basic demonstration. Next, we're going to take the output of an envelope generator, put that into our CV input, and turn up the attenuator. When we press the manual gate button, we can hear the sawtooth. This is a good time to point out, number one, that we have no manual gain going on here. The other thing is that as we press this button, you'll see that all four of the LEDs glow. That's because this input gets daisy chained down to the other CV inputs by default. If we plugged into this one, only the bottom two would be registering a signal at the CV input. Next, we're going to replace the envelope generator output with the output of a triangle LFO. And you'll notice two things. Number one, you can hear it whenever the light is green. Number two, you can't hear anything when the LFO is outputting a negative voltage. So let's provide an offset. Now it goes down to zero, but apart from that, we can hear it all the time. Let's also change the response to exponential and see what happens. That's why we normally want a linear response on a VCA. Next, we're going to move the output to output four, and we're going to patch in four waveforms, starting with sine, going into number one, triangle, going into number two, square, going into number three, and sawtooth, 
going into number four. Now let's listen. There's the sign. Triangle, square, saw. We're going to take the outputs from the sign and patch those into the four control voltages. And we're going to put this 4LFO into quadrature mode. speed it up a little bit. And there's a nice waveform morph between the four waveforms and getting increasingly complex in the harmonic content. It also demonstrates the fact that you can mix all four channels together and do a single output. So those are the basic features of the 4Play Quad VCA. We've looked at all of the individual controls and how they work together. And at this point, I'd like to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, one other thing in closing is that we could rather than having this uh, operated as a quadrature LFO, we could put these LFOs in free running mode and give them different frequencies and we can listen to that and get a more random mix of the waveforms. Thanks so much for watching.